Hello, I am Seamus Dunahoo of Eve University. Uh, today is Wednesday, March the 14th, 2012, and CCP has pushed another patch to Tranquility. And I believe I have figured out where to find the file that you can export to your other clients so that you only have to download it once. So, as I'm recording this, I've already updated EVE Online TQ1 to Wednesday's patch. Alright, so I already started up I, I already tried to start up the game, the launcher already downloaded the patch, the launcher already patched it, and I had to go double check to make sure that the a couple of strings were pointed at the right place. So right click, show package contents, contents, resources, eveonline.app, show package contents, contents, info.plist, right click, open with text edit. And by the way, uh, there was a minor error in my instructions in the previous video. There's two strings you have to change. So one of them is CF bundle name, and the other is prefs folder name. And whatever string you use uh, for these two things, they should be the same. So if you use Eve Online TQ1 as your CF bundle name, you should also use Eve Online TQ1 as your prefs folder name. All right. So <clears throat> close that file. Close this. Now for the patch file, the way where you find that, let's just reopen this and show package contents. It's under contents resources, but instead of going into the second, uh, instead of going into the nested Eve Online app, look right down here. Here's the patch. Eve Online three four nine 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 eight dash three five zero nine six two. All right. So command. C to copy, and we can close this. Then we go on to the other application, right click, show package contents, and I'm going to double click resources to open that as a separate folder. Command V to paste, and that will copy the patch file over. I'm reasonably sure this is it. It's a 42 megabyte file. So I'm going to close this. Oh, wait a minute. Don't close this yet. Uh, let me right click the nested application, show package contents, and look at info.plist to make sure these settings are correct. Eve Online TQ2 for the CF bundle name, Eve Online TQ2 for the prefs folder name. Okay, that's fine. Close this, close this, and now we launch. Eve, I launch Eve Online TQ2. So it checks, it notices. The launcher notices that it already has the patch file, so it's just going to go ahead and apply it rather than re-download the whole thing. And then it says that the client is ready. Right. So we click play, and if everything works properly, There we go. <clears throat> okay, it's working properly. I can see my login information, which is outside the frame of the camera, so you can't see it. I'm not recording my entire screen right now. Don't show anybody your account name or password. You'll have to take my word for it that it um, seems to be pointing to the correct application support folder. All right. Uh, so if you want to double check, though, you can always quit the program and show package contents, find the nested Eve online, show package contents, info.plist, take a look at that. Uh, double check the values, Eve Online TQ2, Eve Online TQ2, okay, that's good. All right, so basically, this is where you find the patch file once one of your clients has downloaded it. You can copy it onto a flash drive, hand it off to uh, your brothers, sisters, spouse, roommates, whoever, and they can also update their Eve Online uh, clients without themselves also having to re-download the patch. All right. Thank you for watching.